Have you ever felt that Copilot was just out of your reach? For a long time now, I've been talking about how powerful Copilot is inside a Word, Excel, Outlook and PowerPoint. But there's always been a bit of a catch. That meant that you needed to pay for a Microsoft 365 Copilot license. If you didn't, well, you could use Copilot Chat for a web browser, but not in those apps. And that meant that you couldn't use Copilot effectively and you felt left behind. But now Microsoft have made the biggest change I've seen so far in Copilot. Now allowing you to use Copilot in those apps you use every day with no additional license needed. Yes, no additional cost, no workarounds, no IT tickets or requests needed. If you have a Microsoft 365 work account, you can now draft emails in Outlook, build reports in Word, summarize slides in PowerPoint, even generate all of your charts in Excel without ever needing to leave all of those apps. But that raises a serious question. If this is what we get for free, is it even worth paying for Microsoft 365 Copilot anymore? Well, today I'll answer that question, but I'm also going to show you how to use these new experiences in Copilot and inside of the apps that we use every day, but also cover off what it can't do for us. And before we head into Copilot, over 90% of people who watch our tutorials aren't subscribed. If you enjoy these tutorials, could you do me a favor and hit that subscribe button? I'd really appreciate it. And for those of you that already have, Thanks for being part of our amazing community. So, are you ready to see Copilot in a whole new light? Let's dive in and find out what's new. So the best place to get started with a new Copilot experience is inside of all the different Office apps. Now previously, we didn't have access to Copilot inside of Outlook unless you had a paid Copilot license, but not anymore. We can now see in a new version of Outlook that we have a Copilot button in the top right of our app. We can go ahead and left click this to open our new Copilot sidebar, which is powered by Copilot Chat. Yes, it has no access to your business data in that you couldn't ask it to summarize your upcoming meetings if it doesn't have access to your calendar. But now with a new change, this Copilot sidebar can interact with the content that is also stored within the app itself. That now means I can ask Copilot to summarize this message and also the attached document that has been added to this message too. In the right hand side Copilot sidebar, we just go ahead and click on send. We can now see instantly it summarizes the short message, but interestingly, it goes into the document and now reviews all of the document content and also brings out the key points in the attachment. And yes, that's now possible, in this free version of Microsoft Copilot. But we can also have it help us draft replies. Let's go ahead and click on the reply button to begin to draft the reply. On the right hand side, however, I need Copilot to help us out. So I can simply summarize my thoughts and ask Copilot to generate professional email outlining all of those key points. We can see here in the bottom of the sidebar, it now comes up with a new email that I can go ahead and take into Microsoft Outlook. I could do that by simply copying the response, heading to my email and pasting it in. And there we go. We now have a professional email. They've also drafted with the help of Copilot with no paid Copilot license required. And that's not the only new trick inside of the new Outlook. With this new Copilot experience, I've opened up an email thread with lots of different emails and a quick summary ahead of my upcoming meeting. We now see a new summarize button I can left click into the Copilot sidebar appears and will now begin to summarize all those key points from the email thread. So once again, we can see an experience here that previously was once again only available to us with a paid license, but we can interact with our emails through the Copilot sidebar and get summaries as well as email drafts. And we work with data all the time, especially in Microsoft Excel. And wouldn't it be easy if we had Copilot available to us again without the paid Copilot license, while well, it's also available to us in Excel. You'll see in the ribbon bar, the Copilot button once again. Left click, and now it begins to open up the Copilot sidebar, once again, powered by Copilot Chat. Now again, it doesn't have access to your business data, but it does have access to data inside of your Excel window. Let's now go ahead and ask Copilot, are there any trends in this data? 
Note I didn't tell Copilot where the data is, so it uses a table of data within Excel to analyze and find any trends in the data. And within a minute, we now have a response, outlining the payment status of our invoices, the overdue patterns and the amounts, and where the revenue has concentrated in these different customers. And also we can see it's generated a range of charts. We can hover over them and understand the amounts. We could copy the image, take it into a different app, or click on the freed up menu and download it as an image to be inserted into a PowerPoint presentation. But what if I also need to generate a PowerPoint from this data? Yes, I have all my Excel data here and all this analysis on the right hand side of Copilot. That probably means I have to rewrite it all. Well, no, in the new Copilot experience on the right hand side, I'll simply ask Copilot to create a PowerPoint that summarizes this information for us. And then let's see what it comes up with. And we can now see Copilot's come back to us. It's created a new PowerPoint file and saved it straight into OneDrive for Business. We can also left click and then open up our PowerPoint presentation to see what Copilot's created. And this PowerPoint has not been altered by me. But we can actually see it's generated an executive summary, calling out what the presentation is here to show. And also some visuals on the data points. The amount of invoices paid versus not paid, the average overdue days by customers, and the total invoices by each customer, and recommendations on how we can also try and improve the way we manage our invoices. So sure, you might have to go and change the theme, add in your own content, but I didn't create any of this. In fact, even the charts from Excel can now be copied and pasted straight into this PowerPoint presentation. So we now saw how Excel, with the help of Copilot Chat, with no Copilot paid license, can do a lot more than we think. Now, if you're watching this and thinking, Scott, I really need help bringing Copilot into my team or business because I had no idea this was possible, then we can certainly help you out on your journey. Because here at Your365 Coach, we know that adopting Copilot isn't a one size fits all journey. And that's why we've launched our brand new academy. It's the place we can access all of our learning courses and on demand masterclasses. And that even includes Copilot. You can also explore every YouTube tutorial completely ad free and join a growing private community of people where you can ask questions directly to me and the team. And if you're looking for something more hands on, we also deliver tailored Copilot training sessions, both in person and remotely. And we even run strategic workshops to help you work out if Copilot is the right for you and your business before you go and purchase it. So if you're ready to get more from Copilot, just head to the link below and get in touch. And we'd love to help you on your journey with Copilot and the AI. So now let's get back into the tutorial and continue to find out what's new in Copilot. And we've all been there. You've been asked by your manager to go and do some research on a particular topic, but you're not sure where to start. You end up with this blank word document which just gives you a whole heap of anxiety. But as we can see, this document's been opened and not saved into the Microsoft Cloud. But I still have this Copilot button appearing in the ribbon. Left clicking, once again, opens Copilot Chat. And we can now ask Copilot Chat to summarize how modern AI tools like Copilot or ChatGPT are transforming document generation in professional services. Now at this point, once again, it has no access to your business data. So it goes to the web to bring back a report summarizing all of these different key points. The best bit, this information back from Copilot can be inserted straight into your Microsoft Word document for you then to make alterations or changes. Let's now leave Copilot to go and do the hard work and bring back the report findings for us. With that now done, we can see here that we have an add to doc button. By left clicking, it will be added into our document canvas or we could copy it and paste it into any app of our choice. By doing that here, we now see there is our report. What we are missing is a summary, an executive summary of what's in the report. Let's now go to our Copilot sidebar and ask for it to generate a specific executive summary. And now we have our executive summary. Well, we can also do the same again, copy and paste it straight into our document. But you'll also notice something here that has also plagued us before in Copilot. When we used to copy and paste, we'd end up with this additional question from Copilot, but not anymore. That's now not brought across any copy and paste of content, 
meaning you won't end up with a mistake where Copilot is asking you a question at the end pasted straight into one of your reports. With this report now generated, I could go ahead, alter it, save it, share it, or even print it, because now my report has been finalized. But as usual, a little later on, I found out a colleague had generated a report a couple of months ago, and here it is in Microsoft Word. While in the Copilot option again in the ribbon bar, as well as drafting content, we can now ask our Copilot to summarize the key points in this document, which I'll now go ahead and ask it to do. As we can see, Copilot chat inside of Microsoft Word has now summarized the content for us. The executive summary, the key report findings and more, all done without a paid Copilot license. And there's one other trick we can use in Microsoft Word. And in fact, it's available throughout Copilot chat. We can bring in other files. By clicking the forward slash key or the plus icon, we can choose from different files in OneDrive, SharePoint or Teams that you have access to. What I'm now going to do is go and select the other file that I created earlier. And I'm now going to ask Copilot to compare the two documents and check the points to see if we broadly aligned or if any are out of alignment. And by giving Copilot that prompt, we can now see it's identified the shared themes and overlaps, but also the points that are missing or less emphasized in this document here that we could also now add in and some suggested additions to also make sure they're more fully aligned. We can even draft revised section with those added points with Copilot and bring it into the document. So we can now see that with the help of Copilot inside of Word, we can even compare documents and bring the findings through into a different version of the document. And I know that many of you use OneNote and Copilot, well, it's also available in OneNote once again without a paid Copilot license. Select the home and then select Copilot from the ribbon bar in OneNote. On the right hand side, you can do much like we've done in other apps create content, summarize, and more. Let's now go ahead and ask Copilot to come up with some ideas for a team building exercise we've got running one of our future workshops. I'd like to find the content and then bring it into my OneNote so I can also refer it back to my peers a little later, while I'll simply ask Copilot in the sidebar to do exactly that. By giving the prompt here to Copilot and specifying the location, Copilot's now come up with some ideas and even includes the places where we can actually run for a team building exercise. Let's now go ahead, click on the copy response and paste it straight into OneNote. I can now come back to this later and check it out to make sure I can pick the right event. But what about summarizing existing content? Well, here I have a separate OneNote page around key development considerations for our project. By asking the Copilot sidebar to summarize the considerations on this page for my upcoming meeting, Copilot can work just like any other app and check out the content on the page and then summarize it on the right in readiness for my meeting. But even better, as well as a summary, I'd like to also generate an email to my manager to let him know about these key development considerations. Let's now ask Copilot inside of OneNote to draft me a new email. With that prompt now given to Copilot, what well we can see here an email has been drafted, taking content from my own OneNote page and bringing it straight into an email I can reuse. How do we move it to Outlook? Well, we could easily select copy and then paste it straight into an email. Of course, you had to make a few changes such as moving the subject line, but we've taken content from OneNote and now we've drafted an email that can be sent to my manager from all those points taken in OneNote. And PowerPoint also gets similar capability. In PowerPoint, select Copilot and you can do a summary of your PowerPoint presentation to also identify key points from the presentation itself, just like we did in all the different apps too. But alongside summarizing content, we can also ask Copilot inside a PowerPoint to generate me a new image to bring into my own PowerPoint deck. It uses Microsoft Designer and also the Copilot Create capabilities to also now create this image for us. Now here, we can see it loading in real time. When this image is now ready, we can bring it straight into our PowerPoint deck. With our new image generated, just hover over it and click on the plus insert button here to bring it straight into your canvas in PowerPoint. Now make some adjustments and there we go. We now have a professional image inside of our PowerPoint deck, which was originally created by Copilot and now includes a new AI image generated by Copilot. So all of this sounds great, 
but there's more to think about before you go ahead and cancel your Microsoft 365 paid Copilot licenses. First off, the version we've seen today is always using the web-based version. It means it can't connect to your work data. If you try to ask this Copilot about what's coming up in your calendar in Outlook, it won't be able to answer the question or help planning your day, well, the same result. It's just not that kind of Copilot. It also works only in the desktop apps, not through the browser, but you could expand your Copilot chat panel to keep the conversation going. But importantly, all the files you work with need to be stored in OneDrive, Teams or SharePoint. And there are usage limits. In fact, I hit a few during the recording of this tutorial. I had to give Copilot a bit of a break to recover. But the big question now is, should you now then cancel your paid Copilot licenses? Or maybe just avoid buying one at all? Because we all love lots of free stuff, right? But here's my honest opinion. If you're new to Copilot or you've been waiting for your chance to try it out, well, this is a great start. It's going to give you the opportunity to use AI to improve how you work and importantly, learn what it can do for you. But if you're using Copilot already under a paid license or thinking about buying one, the paid license still offers a huge amount of value. For example, you get meeting transcriptions and summaries in Teams. You can build and use agents. And the depth of functionality when it comes to connecting to your work data, well, is vastly more superior than the free Copilot. And personally, the amount of time I save every month still outweighs the cost of that paid Copilot license. So for me, I won't be cancelling my license anytime soon, but I do think Microsoft deserves some credit for this move. It gives people real AI capabilities in the tools they already know and use every day. And that's a massive step forward. And let's be honest, there's a possibility that this could be a chargeable license under some type of copilot light model, but I don't want to give anyone any ideas on that. Now, I'd love to know what you think. Would this new version of Copilot be enough for you? Or do you see the value in going for a paid license? Why not drop your thoughts in the comments? Because I'd really like to know. And if you found this tutorial helpful, please do give it a like. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and don't be part of that 90% who don't subscribe to the channel. So other than that, I look forward to seeing you in the next one.